Lily, YouTubers versus Vine. They all dress well. Who has the best fashion though? Let's talk about it. Cause it's up to us. Oh, little Felix. Little Pootie Felix. Pie Poods. We've got Pootie Pie smizing at the Star Wars premiere. Yeah. Pootie Pie at Star Wars. <laughs> I think it's so Star Wars appropriate. He looks like the galaxy. So considering that this guy made a living off of sitting in his bedroom playing video games, he looks pretty dope. He doesn't just make a living. He is the most popular person on YouTube. He can afford any outfit he wants. And I think he He's did got, well. For yeah, like a video gamer, totally. I approve. He looks like a Pootie Pie there. Like a real I Pootie Pie. I love seeing pie. him like this. I know. It's weird seeing him all classy. And you can tell on, on his face, he knows that he's being really classy right now. Hide your laces though, man. What are you doing? I know, what's going on here? Was this like, the textures are all wrong. You can't wear blue and black like that. I'm not a huge fan. Really? Um, it looks like that's velvet. I, you don't like velvet? Not for a suit jacket. It's so soft though. I do wish the pants were slimmer though. Do you agree? You know what? I completely agree with you. I hate it when men's pants have pleats in them. Is that what you call them? Yeah, I don't like it. They're like dad pants. It seems like everything's a little big. It does seem a little untailored. Yes, I would like it to be more tailored. We could have got the pants fitted just a little bit more. I really like the hair, even though that's probably standard hair for him. The bow tie is a very nice touch. Mm. I just didn't realize it was a velvet jacket, and you guys know how I feel about velvet. It's just not for me. Wow. Velvet? He looks like a magician. <laughs> I like when a guy can deviate from just like, because usually guys just wear black. That's true. You I know? like that he branched out, but I just personally am not a huge fan of velvet. Fair. Do we like the bow tie? Oh my god, I just noticed that bow tie. Because it's black on black, so it's hard to see it. No, I don't like the bow tie. I don't like anything about this. Again, I feel like he has so much money and no help. Like, if I had a ton of help, I would be like, you wash my hair, you comb my <laughs> eyebrows, you pick out my jacket. Like, I would assign a different job for every limb. You know what? I think he looks really good from the mustache up. I will cute, give him that. Cute. Hi, Jenna Marvels. <laughs> you just look so futuristic and like you should be a pop star. I f***ing love Jenna Marbles. I have been worshiping Jenna Marbles since the heyday of YouTube when it first Same, started. Same, since how to trick people into thinking you're good looking. Yes, that was my favorite video. I've used a couple of the tricks today. Do they work? D did it? Tell me. I love Jenna. She's funny. She's smart. The outfit, not my favorite jacket. I, it's, I it's like a little, the jacket. It's a little too busy for me. I like the. I feel like with the necklace, yeah, it's like that's a lot. too much. I agree. So it's either one or the other for me. This outfit kind of reminds me of something Kylie Jenner would wear. Or Kris Jenner. Or Kris Jenner. <laughs> Touche. Right? Like this is a momager outfit. I like this. Like look. I just want to hang out with her. She's cool. It's like edgy. Her shoes are platform. She has like this cool jacket with this chain necklace and her hair is pink. I love hair that makes me think of cotton candy. I like the hair color. I understand that it um, becomes an addiction. Yeah. I think it looks like very flavorful gum. You know, like when gum doesn't oh. lose its flavor, it keeps that color. But her fashion has always been really interesting. And I feel like every time she steps out, it's something very strange and different. But sometimes strange bad, but sometimes strange good. Even the phone case, like that's giving me some space vibes. What is that phone case? I like it. Wow. I love that Jenna Marbles is carrying her cell phone on the red carpet. She can't <laughs> miss a beat. She's like, I gotta, gotta follow up with my subscribers. Always gotta be on. Always gotta be on. She just does a great job of like buying things or wearing things that you wouldn't normally see mm -hmm. on normal people on YouTube. It's always so funny seeing YouTubers in public though, because and in her video, she's so laid back, and then she walks out and like she's in this awesome outfit. This isn't Madame Tussaud, so like that's her, right? That's not a wax figure. It isn't. It's is not a, a wax, wax figure? figure. If that is, that's scary. You're lying. Wait, Lauren, is this is her this? wax figure or is this her IRL? This is phenomenal. If it is, I'd pay money to go see that. Me too. Lily Singh is dope. She's queen too. I don't know who I like more. I like Lily I'm Singh. I'm all about this because I would absolutely wear this on a carpet. Yeah. I am obsessed with Lily Super Singh. Superwoman. Yes. And I'm even more obsessed with her fashion because she doesn't give a F. This is legitimately an outfit I would wear every single weekend. I feel like Jocelyn wore this yesterday. Look how comfortable this she is. This is is a casual comfortable. Right? Hanging out. Hey, we're going to this big thing. Everybody's getting paid a lot of money. You gotta tap dance on this red carpet. I nah. want to be as comfortable as humanly possible. No heels. I think she looks really cute. It, she looks casual. You like the casual. I love casual. Yeah, I think it's, it's really, really, really cute. Trying. Yeah, I um, yeah, I love casual. I love denim. I love a cut off. I love boobs. Look at her. She looks great. Her boobs look amazing. Yeah. She's a beautiful, symmetrical person. Look at how, <laughs> right? 
Absolutely. I just I'm amused by the mathematical estimation. That's how like, I see. I see my algorithms go. Whoo! Look at that <laughs> symmetry. A lot of times you see people on carpets and they go all out, and it's like you're uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? She, she, she's very comfortable. Yes, and she put the glam in all the right places. Like her makeup is on point, her hair is on point, but she looks very comfy. Obviously, this looks like it's taken like. In California or in summertime or whatever, she looks great. So you're supposed to go to red carpet as yourself. Like it's not like the Oscars where you have to like wear a gown. It's just like, hey, I'm going to this premiere. I'm gonna rock my. Chucks. And that's a sweet ass braid. Oh! People are so into butts nowadays. Have you noticed that? Mm-hmm. Oh, I've noticed. Butts. To have your hair like that and have it kind of look like a butt on top. That people mm -hmm. don't have to stare at you while you're walking away. There's always a butt to look at. That hair and makeup is everything. She's I awesome. like how it's in like a ponytail around the front with mm -hmm. the jean jacket over a fitted dress with, with Converse. Converse. It's so casual, but so sexy at the same time. I'm a nail polish person, so I think adding a little pop of color to your phalanges is important. What are your phalanges? Your fingers. Is this Roman Atwood? Who's that? Roman Atwood, he's a prankster, pranker. He pranks people, and he's pranking us with this outfit. Roman Atwood. Atwood. Natural Born Pranksters the movie. Is that his movie? Look Never at heard that of it. ensemble. I love him, but I don't love the outfit. I no. don't know Roman, personally. Me neither. Um, Based on this, I would not want to, but <laughs> I agree. I'm sure he's a great human. It's I really do like him. I've watched his vlogs before, and I think him and his family are adorable. Mm -hmm. This outfit. This is too many things for my eyes to focus on. And also, like, the background is so busy, the foreground so busy. He's wearing a step and repeat. Everything would be fine separately. Yeah, like it's the, a lot going on. Like, the jacket would be fine if it was, like, a plain black shirt and, like, normal jeans. And the jeans would be fine if it was, like, a plain black shirt. Do you think somebody a okayed this outfit, or did he approve this himself? Did he shop for this? I just don't know what happened. He asked for it for Christmas. It's too much. It's, like, his pants look like... Uh, tin foil. His jacket looks like something out of the Hard Rock Cafe in Hollywood, <laughs> like glass plates. You know, yeah, like in the eighties. It doesn't work for me. I also don't like skulls. I just like the choice of skull as uh, personal aesthetic. It says, "Hey, I think about death." If you step out of your house with a really bad case of acne or a big zit, <laughs> and you want people to not look at your face, wear this outfit because That's they will idea. not look at your face. That is such a good idea. I actually haven't looked at his face yet. I feel like if he was like on stage performing next to Steven Tyler, he'd be like, this is normal. But like walking in real life, it's kind of like. When he's like a normal <laughs> guy. Yeah. So it's a little, it's just a, it's a lot. Look, I get it. Dressing for a red carpet oh, is hard. And is then hard. you're like going to a pranksters film. Like I get that it's really overwhelming. Yeah. I feel like this just looks like you're trying. Yeah. It's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like if a stroke took human form. <laughs> Shane! Oh, isn't he like cute? <laughs> Shane Dawson at Barnes and Noble. Oh my god, that was the hottest red carpet of the year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little baby. Oh, I love it. This is Shane Dawson. Is he like 12 years old here? <laughs> Aww. He wore a different shirt. <laughs> Holy crap, I love Shane so much. <laughs> I'm very proud of him because he is not wearing his one of two shirts in this picture. <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen Shane I've wear this I've never seen this before. shirt, and I, good for you, Shane. Shane, you win. I love that sometimes when he dresses up for events, and his picture's gonna be taken, he's dressed like an adult. Other times, he looked like he just left high school, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cause the, the jacket, it like took off a good eight, nine years. Like you didn't know he was in his like late 20s. Look, look, look at the sneakers. And his smile is so cute and shy, aw. Little cutie pie. Again, very comfortable. Thank you. It's like the uh, denim vest, but with sleeves. Like he chose to put sleeves on a denim vest yep. afterwards. I like it makes you. Ch it's like, wait, is this a hoodie and a denim vest, Who knows? or is that a de or is that one garment? Oh, he looks so sweet and so innocent. The he amount does. of buttholes that he talks about. I know, on like you would not know he had such perverted humor. Yeah, he looks like I would take him home to mama. I don't mind it, it's just a little, it's not crazy like Roman, but it is a little young. It's, I'm just gonna say, it's just not doing anything for me. Yeah. He looks authentic and I yeah. like that. This is a swipe right for me. I don't like guys that are trying to prove how cool they are. Mm. I like a guy who wants his intellect to speak. And when I look at that outfit, I think, bet you have a high IQ. Tyler, Tyler Oakley! I'm so sorry, microphone. Tyler Oakley just looks like a mannequin. 
but with the cutest possible head. Tyler always Oakley. looks really cute on red carpets, and I love his little smirk. Tyler Oakley killing it at the Webby Awards. I love this suit. I love this man. I love what yeah. he stands for. I am such a non-objective person. Mm. Like, I like the person, so I'm gonna love the outfit. Tyler is such a gem. He is such a star. He's like a class act. He's kind of going to be the Jimmy Fallon late night talk show host of YouTube. The Ellen. Yes! It's nothing like life changing. No. But he just like looks, he cleans up nicely. I feel like it's not that hard for guys to like pull it off. I agree. You know? It it's must like, be really like, oh, hmm, what suit do I wear today? Right. They don't have really, they don't have that many options. They don't That's have true. like that many body types to showcase. Yeah. It's kind of like, okay. I think this is cute. Um, it's also like relatable because of the eyeglasses. You yes, know? Like maybe exactly. He's, he doesn't have perfect vision, like, but he does have a perfect body. I love how he always looks so classy. I know. How does he do that? I love how when, like I said, I love how YouTubers, when they walk out of their house, are all of a sudden so classy. You know what's funny about Tyler? He looks like he could be inventing the next, like, I don't know, the next Facebook. Or <laughs> he looks like the biggest internet celebrity ever. He just, he's great. One of the two. And his hair's not green in this photo. Wow. What I love about Tyler is that no matter what he wears, you always love it because you can always see his personality in his choices. It's not even his clothes, it's his personality comes out. King Batch at the Shorty Awards. Aw, oh, shoddy. He is so funny. This outfit is hilarious. What do you think of this outfit? Um, I think it looks like an adult onesie, and I'm not crazy <laughs> about it. It kind of looks like he was like chilling on his couch, and someone was like, dude, we gotta go to the Shorty Awards. And he was like, well, I'm wearing a wife beater. And they were like, put this coat on. So he did. He's representing Vine well. Like, I was leaning towards the YouTube side of things, but he's killing it. I love the V-neck with the suit. I don't like casual shirts underneath suit jackets. Like, if you're gonna wear the suit jacket, you might as well wear a suit. I think the fact that it's so low is making me uncomfortable yeah. with, the, with the I just blazer. It's making his torso look way too long. I feel like that's too much collarbone to show in a three-piece suit. Oh, completely disagree. I like a deep scoop on a male. That's a that's an uppercase U. Give me some Simon Cowell vibes with that low-cut yeah. shirt. Yeah! But I like the low-cut shirts. You do? Yeah, I'm into with that. So a like, nice if, suit? I, I mean, yeah, that's that's like a trend right now, wearing like tees oh. with uh, nice jackets. Okay, fine. I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. You Does know what I mean? It look like he's wearing his dad's suit though. Like it's a little big and he has to like roll I it. I kind up. of like it on him do though. You like that style? I think if it was tighter, I wouldn't like it. I do think the top should be shortened just a little bit because it makes his legs look really stumpy. Yeah, he looks tiny. And next time, maybe remove your box of cigarettes out of your pocket. Or is that a cell phone? Either one. It makes him look strange proportionately, which he doesn't usually. It looks it makes him look shorter. I think the way the pants are cut. It makes his legs look real short. Ha, it's at it the Shorty Awards. Awards. I like a suit that looks urban. I am digging everything that's happening here. I like the suit. I like that he combined it with some cute sneakers, and I like that he's just wearing like a shirt underneath it, and there's just a little dabble of chest hair peeking out. See, I dig it. Feels less urban, more urban outfitters. I feel like it goes with the personality, so you can't yeah. even be mad at it if you don't like it. From the waist up, I love it. I don't like the pants with the tennis shoes, but again, for him, I think it works, and I'm like, do you. I think I would love the outfit if he was in a boy band and everybody else was wearing the outfit for a music right. video in the 90s. Wow. Oh my girl. gosh. Hey, who is that? Is that Britney Furlan? Check out Britney Furlan. She's a famous Vine star. Hanging out at the Streamy Awards. She looks really nice. She looks classy as f she looks great. Her makeup and her hair looks really good. That color's great on I, it. doesn't actually look like her. All I've ever seen her in is like crop tops, huge boobs, bare midriff, and like a tight, tight pants. I've never seen okay. her. This kind of doesn't really look right for her. I think it's a really beautiful dress. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. She so looks cute. great. Her body is insane. I can see that. It's amazing. I like this look. I like the color on her. I like the hills matched with like the messy updo because it really accentuates the length of her body. Uh, I think the dress on the sides could have fit just a little bit better, but yeah. overall I'm into it. You can kind of see one ab. And that's not an easy cutout to pull off. No, it's not. That's some side ab. I if see. I did that, it'd be like... It would just be like... <laughs> 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 he, he was, the out, there's honestly the outfit's fine. It's the facial expression and like... Oh. So this is Cameron Dallas at the Fresh Faces event. And uh, he didn't look so fresh. Why is he making that face? I think he just woke up from a big nap. He looks like someone took a picture and went... <laughs> he was like... The only thing that stands out to me in this photo is that 
face. Like, did you just wake up? He looks very hungover. He looks, he looks tired. So he doesn't look like he unhappy. wants to be there. Yeah. He looks like he was just like, oh man, I miss McDonald's breakfast again. <laughs> so don't get me wrong, he's adorable, but yeah. the face looks. Well, no, I usually think he's really hot. This is yeah. just a really strange picture, I think. <laughs> it's hard for me because I love this look aesthetically. Like, I yeah. think it's very pleasing. But also, like, where do you go in that outfit in real life, and people don't think you're ridiculous? Yeah. Uh, what happened to your jeans, Cam man? <laughs> Something my mom would say. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone else was wearing this jacket, I'd be like, what? But it's Cameron Dallas, so I'm like, yeah, that's Cam. He can totally pull this off. For me, it's the fit of everything. Like, it all fits in the right places. Like, I like the long tees with the fitted jacket mm -hmm. and the nice jeans with, like, high-top converses with a nice touch of an accessory, which is the necklace. Yeah, he's taking a risk, but not the same way that Roman Atwood took a risk. Like, <laughs> this one paid off. You know what? Being famous and like being getting to do red carpets and stuff like that is kind of like a cool privilegey thing. Mm -hmm. And when you don't get dressed and when you kind of are just like F it, it kind of says something about your personality. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? I completely agree. Thank you. Nash Greer, you look adorable. There is a lot going on and it is the tightest outfit I have ever seen on a male. Like tight? Like tight. Aw, I like this. Too, too, too many letters. Well, Too many it's letters. fine. They're trying to give you a lot of info really quick. You know I, what I mean? I get it. I don't have they to They only like got it. six seconds to get across. This is who I am. The outfit is not my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like the shoes. Those shoes are white. Ooh, I like the shoes too. They're like sneaker dress shoes. Has like a little heel They're on like it. white. Oh, I don't. I'm confused, but So I like this it. is smart. This is a way for guys to wear heels if they don't want to wear actual heels and look mm -hmm. a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. Those heels are great though. I would, the heels are good. I mean, does a half inch count as a heel? Does he even need it? I don't like the jacket. <sighs> See, I kind of like the jacket. It's different. I've never seen a dude wear something like that. I don't know what's going on on the shirt either. It's kind of scary. Illuminati-ish. Yeah. I think that his coat is maybe his to-do list for later. Like, <laughs> going running, Star Wars, binge watch. I'm not sure what else it says, but I'm sure there are other things that he needs to get done that he just like, if I don't write it on my clothes, I will not remember it. I star Yo, running. Does that say dong? It's it like looks like street art. Like I walked down the street yeah. and grabbed like a Banksy mural and yes. then like some sidewalk art mm -hmm. and put it all into a jacket yeah. and a shirt. There's so many things happening that all contradict each other. Like there's so many patterns, so many words, so many pictures, so many accessories. I'm like, I don't know where to look and it's too much and my head's exploding. The top <laughs> half of him could work if the bottom half of him wasn't so specific. Like if he's wearing mm -hmm. regular blue jeans mm -hmm, and like black shoes, that would be fine. But Ooh. I don't know if I like all of that busyness with the ripped gray jeans and the like, my eyes are going blind looking at those sneakers. So everything kind of works separately. I don't know how I feel about it all together. I don't know if we should compare YouTube and Vine. It's I like, think we should. I it's like, fun for competition. No, I feel like we're a unified community <laughs> in the digital sphere and we shouldn't be drawing lines between us. I love pitting people against each other. <laughs> I mean, YouTubers are Viners and Viners are I mean, YouTubers these they're, days. They're all people, so right. I feel like you can't just be like, I don't know. No, I mean, I just think that people who work on the internet have great style. You know what, Viners are used to doing things quick and fast, and mm. YouTubers mm. are used to like Putting taking more. time. Yes, more pre-production. More pre-production. So I'm gonna vote for the YouTubers. Yeah. More pre-production. More pre-production. YouTubers, you win this round for us. And we're YouTubers. Are we? Well, I'm gonna say YouTube <laughs> because I'm obsessed with Tyler Oakley and I feel like I would marry him in that suit he wore, so. My favorite is Lily Singh just because if I were to have to wear a dress of some sort, that looks like more my style. I know who wins in my book. Yeah, I'm gonna say my vote is for YouTube. I only really loved, or I like two of the Viners, but I liked all of the YouTubers for the most part, yeah. so. Having <laughs> no bias at all, nothing to gain in either of these worlds <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> nothing to gain, not really Nothing to lose, Real low no loyalties. <laughs> Super low stakes. Uh, yeah, I YouTube guess. is fine. Yes, YouTube edges it out. If I had to put if my had a, hard stamp on it, I'd say YouTube is fine. If I was really pressed, though. I think I'm gonna go with Team YouTube. Uh, duh, cause we on it. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> let us know. Comment section below. What do you think? And then subscribe, cause we're here every Friday. Every Friday. Yep. And now you should click to the left to see some crazy earwax extraction on Beauty Trippin', or click to the right to see the best dressed at the Teen Choice Awards.